blindsided, fired from their jobs. That's what happened to some Tesla employees here in Austin. Tesla is laying off more than 10% of its workforce globally, and this comes as the Austin-based company reported low first quarter sales this year. KXAN Sarah Alshay spoke with employees who received an unexpected email telling them not to show up to work today. In the middle of the night, it's just crazy. It's heartbreaking. and it, It's just a lot to take in. This person who asked us not to reveal their identity woke up to an email that changed their life. It was out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. I just woke up at three in the morning and I was just like, what in the world? Titled Tesla Employment Update, it let employees know they were fired effective immediately. Honestly, I just want to cry. That's how I feel. The email said as the company prepares for its next phase of growth, quote, it is extremely important to look at every aspect of the company for cost reductions and increasing productivity. For that reason, Tesla is letting go of 10% of its workforce globally, about 14,000 workers. I'm feeling hurt more than anything because I have a family to support. This employee, a single parent, says the news came at the worst possible time. They were in the process of moving into a new apartment. Now that's all come to a halt. I lost my job and there's no proof of employment anymore. I'm supposed to be out of my apartment at, on the 18th and now I'm basically basically left with nowhere to go. Other employees we talked to I had a whole panic attack are left picking up the pieces, trying to find a new job as soon as possible. I'm definitely going to be looking for more jobs already applied to other automotive industries. I've been on Indeed since 3.30 this morning. <laughs> I'll make it just a day at a time. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. KXAN reached out to Tesla, but we haven't heard back yet. Shares of Tesla fell 5% today after news of these layoffs. Overall this year, Tesla shares have lost about a third of their value.